Yeah, Abigail, Jessica, the commission agreed this is going to take some time to completely solve when it comes to the opioid crisis, but they did recognize some ways to uh, tackle this or try to defeat this in the short term. Being smart on crime also means being smart about money, and we can save money if we invest in programs. Oklahoma Attorney General Mike Hunter says that includes investing in drug courts, drug treatment, as well as law enforcement having access to life-saving drugs to combat opioid abuse. And that includes possible law changes or even rewriting the state statute when it comes to this. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that. But it doesn't care what your race is. It doesn't care what your socioeconomic status is. For Gail Box, the opioid crisis starts with ending the culture of silence. She lost her son Austin in 2011, an OU linebacker who died from an opioid overdose shortly after graduating. For a young man who had his whole life ahead of him, she offered one explanation of why Austin's problem turned deadly. We shame people with a problem when we should be offering our help. And Attorney General Hunter said that state leaders right now can make some changes that do not require any legislative action. So I asked uh, Attorney General Hunter to elaborate on what exactly that meant. And he said that uh, leaders have to step up, be brave, and make the right decision. We're live at the state capitol tonight. Brett Boganski, KOCO 5 News.